We have before us the Lenovo Legion 5 Pro and the Asus ROG Zephyrus M16, and here are the benchmarks that are going to be coming up in just a few minutes. Now, I'm really excited about this video because this is Intel versus Ryzen, okay? We have the i9 11900H and the Ryzen 7 5800H, okay? So two eight core, 16 thread laptops, Intel, Ryzen. I'm excited to see thermal differences. I'm excited to see performance differences. But before we get into those things, let's check out the build quality of these two laptops. Then we'll transition into that aspect. Now, overall, I lean towards the Asus Zephyrus M16. Okay, it's gonna be a little bit lighter, slightly thinner, but, but almost the same as the Legion 5 Pro. And just overall, I like the simple design. I like the matte soft touch materials. The matte keyboard deck is super nice. Um, this laptop is great as well. I just, as far as an on the go laptop is concerned, this just feels far more on the go. This feels a little bit bigger, a little more like kind of a, a, a hearty gaming laptop. And I love the discrete iridescence that takes place inside of the top cover of this laptop. I just think it's really, really cool. Now both laptops have vents on each of the side panels as well as the back panel of the laptop. However, one thing I do like about the Zephyrus over the Legion 5 is that when you open the laptop, there's really not a vent here on the inside, so it doesn't allow air to like pull through a little easier. The vent shows up here on the inside of the Zephyrus, and there's a nice big gap to allow good airflow to come in through the top and actually through the bottom. And the laptop slightly lifts off of the table a little bit to allow air to flow through the bottom of the chassis. So these are some things that we're gonna see later in the video that are actually going to provide better cooling for the Zephyrus. Now while we have the laptops open, let's go ahead and check out the keyboard deck. I like the keyboard deck on the Zephyrus. It's clean, I like the soft matte touch finish. However, if I rest my hands here for a while, I start to see some fingerprints and really oil smudges build up on this matte finish. It's, it's very nice, but it is prone to fingerprints. However, over here, it's not a soft touch material, so easily wipes clean. You're not gonna see any fingerprints. That's a big bonus for the Legion 5 Pro. Now, there's a larger trackpad on the Zephyrus M16, which I really like. It's also very quiet, a little bit quieter than the Legion 5 Pro. I do like the quick access to the Asus Command Center over here, whereas I'm not benefited by that button here on the Legion 5 Pro. The travel and soft touch on both of these keys is almost exactly the same. Now you do have RGB keyboard lighting on the Zephyrus as well as the Legion 5 Pro. As far as the screens are concerned, they're both 16 inches. However, I feel the clarity on the Zephyrus is a little better than the Legion. Now regarding the speakers, we do have them on the top of the keyboard deck for the Zephyrus, but not for the Legion. And here's an audio sample of both laptops. If you're curious about the exact pricing differences between these two laptops, you can head down in the description below and click one of those links. Now, if you do use that link to make a purchase, I will get a small commission, but at no extra cost to you, but that keeps this channel alive and the helpful content coming your way. And before we jump into the performance test, let's do a quick screen flex test to see which one is a little more rigid. So I would say the Zephyrus has a bit more screen flex than the Legion 5 Pro. So if that's a big concern to you, the Legion 5 Pro is gonna be your pick. Now regarding ports, the Legion 5 has a massive amount of ports. On the back of the chassis, you have a USB type C network port, three USB type A's, HDMI, and then your power port. And then on the right side panel, you have a USB type A and a manual cutoff switch for the webcam. And on the left side, you have a USB type C and a headphone jack. Whereas in the M16, you have your power port, HDMI, network port, USB type A, two USB type C's, remember these are Thunderbolts because this is Intel, and your mic headphone jack. And on the other side, we have a mini, again, I don't know why mini, mini SD card slot and a USB type A. So there's a little bit more port connection on the Legion 5 Pro. Now, without further ado, let's jump right into the performance to see how well these laptops handle the benchmarks. Looking at the simulated benchmarks, we're gonna start with Cinebench R20, R23, Geekbench Single Core, and Multi-Core.
Moving on to the real world benchmarks, however, we see a big pivot to the Lenovo Legion 5 Pro. Now this has an advantage because it does have the RTX 3070, which is two extra gigs of VRAM. So we're seeing big performance here in 3D modeling. However, as we pivot to After Effects, we can see the Zephyrus M16 pulling things up in the standard benchmark, and then they get really close in the After Effects render benchmark. Regarding video editing, you can see the export times from 1080p all the way up to 6K coming up on the screen right now. And for playback in Premiere Pro, they both handled 4K without a problem. 6K B-RAW was good. And then of course we're seeing red 6K footage struggle quite a bit between these two laptops. For DaVinci Resolve, there was smooth 4K playback. And here are the export times for Resolve. Now a new test I really enjoy running is having each laptop go through different fan modes inside of the software. Check the export times, thermals, and fan noise at each fan mode. And here are the results. As we're jumping into Photoshop, you can see the M16 takes the crown by about 100 points. Now, both laptops have fantastic scores, so either pick will be great for creators working in the Adobe Design Suite, Affinity, Figma, Sketch, and the like. Again, I ran the fan mode test for each of the laptops regarding points, thermals, and fan noise. Regarding battery life, the M16 really stands out. Overall, I think this is gonna be the better on-the-go laptop than the Legion 5 Pro. However, the Legion 5 Pro has amazing performance. Links if you're ready to make a purchase, likes if this video has brought you some value, and subs if you don't miss out on the future uploads. I'll see you here in the next one.